welcome to my studio it is a new day i'm wearing different clothes i've already cleaned both of my drawer units and my room is still a mess <laughs> so we're gonna continue this i am going to finally tackle the floor we're gonna get everything off of it put them in the places that they're supposed to go i think i want to clear off everything and put everything away including the things on my desk before i can like vacuum and wipe around by the time being this floor is stressing me out so i really just want to clear everything and i'm gonna take you along with me i hope you guys enjoy if you have not seen the first part of it if i have not split this in half already then you should go check that out hopefully you'll be watching me in the background as you also declutter and clean your spaces i guess we should just get started let's be productive together I think the best way to tackle my space right now, honestly, is to just have an entire screen so that you can see everything. I'm just gonna grab whatever I see and put them in their respective places. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is from my booth event that just happened a couple of days ago, and so I have this box all the way over here that still has some remnants of things. I do want to keep this box because next month I am doing another event, but it is messy and I've already put some stuff away, but I need to put more stuff away. And so there's also some like trash and things like that. I just want to clear this out. And then once my booth happens again, then I'll just make this all over again. It's no biggie. I just need this giant box out of here. Why do I have all of these clips just thrown on the floor? What are they doing? A mallet. Dun, dun, dun. Month, so I don't want to set them up or anything, but now I don't know where to put these things. I have all of these like pretty big boxes that don't really fit anywhere else so I'm going to try to fit them into this corner right here. We are going to try and squeeze all of these in here neatly.
I think that this is the best that I can do in this corner. I use these items as well as the toolbox the most, so I just wanted those to just be like out there. Everything else, I'm okay with it being kind of jammed in here, and it's pretty neatly like squared in, so I'm okay with it like this. And then this thing right here, I'm also using pretty frequently, so I'm gonna keep that out. Corner's done! Woo! It's been over a week since I've last cleaned my studio. I haven't touched anything on both of my desks because I wanted to save it for when I clean it up on camera. This is definitely the messiest I've ever let my desk be. I normally am a pretty clean person generally, but I thought that I would let myself go so that I can really like dive in and like clean everything. It's been a week since the last time that I've cleaned. Um, it's actually my birthday today, so that's exciting. I did a couple things this morning to celebrate my birthday. I'm going to do a couple things later tonight to celebrate my birthday. And so now I'm kind of in this in-between where I have nothing to do. And so I decided to just keep cleaning my room because I'm sick of seeing this. And I would like to have some space. I have two full containers filled with trash. Filled with trash um, and recyclables. So... I'm excited to dump this out and then also get started on all of these things, put them where they need to be, maybe declutter some things if I find things that need to be decluttered. And then once I'm done putting everything away, that's when I'll start cleaning and like actually like wiping things down. I just figure that putting things away first is kind of my main priority because it's not like the things on my desk are that dirty if that makes any sense maybe my floor is so i do need to vacuum that but other than that i feel like the main mess that you guys are seeing is all the clutter rather than all the dust and dirt you know so we're gonna get started um i'm very excited to see my table finally <laughs> uh yeah so let's get started
I have a lot of stuff right here that were originally in these two shelves. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be keeping most of these. I'll probably do another video in the near future where I actually like utilize all these unused notebooks. But I'm still going to look through it and see if there's anything that I can get rid of. Other than that, I'm just going to put them back into the shelves where they were organized at so we're gonna get started on that pretty sure i want to keep all these papers i used to use these to make my own like baggies but they weren't very durable and so that made me really nervous if people were to get my products like i don't know how they'd be able to actually like contain them all but the patterns are really cute and so i definitely want to save them maybe for, the, for like some other project but i think they're cute so i'm gonna take these i have these boxes and i don't know what to do with them because i think that they're super cute but they don't honestly have a purpose for me what i like to do is i like to cut out these things and maybe i'll turn them into like some sort of like collection journal i also have like these ones like a magic one these ones as well are super cute this one is like really cute i might honestly keep this whole box this one i think i'm gonna get rid of though maybe just like cut out the cover so let's go ahead and do that now actually this one i can also get rid of Cycle. Reevaluating. I'm keeping these little scraps here for journaling purposes. So I have all of these here as well. And I'm going to keep these boxes. Ooh, I also have this one here. I'll have to look at that too. And then we'll tackle all these stuff afterwards. I have no purpose for all of these, but I wasn't able to return them all. Maybe I'll use them as backings. For any like prints that people buy so i'll hold on to these for now some felt i'm gonna keep all these for a future project and then let's have a look at this i definitely want to use these for journaling i think that they're super cute small books i have way too many i definitely don't need all of this I think my camera got cut off, but basically what I was doing was trying to figure out how to organize these because I have all of these empty notebooks, which I have a category for extras down here and a category for used up here, but clearly my extras are quite a lot and so I'm trying to figure out the best way to organize this. bag right here which I will also organize but for now I'm just gonna throw it all in here it's time to tackle this drawer I've kept it pretty organized all these years so everything is in their own category I think what I'm gonna do is grab a notepad and then try to swatch them all and see how they look and then put them back to their respective places if I feel that I will still use it or that it's still usable. This one works at an angle, so I don't know if I should keep this or not. I'll put it in a separate pile. And these are all white markers, but again, I can also see the ink, so these will stay except for this one. This one will go. I use all my mind liners, so I will be keeping them and I will aim to use them all. I'm refusing to buy any more highlighters until I use all of these. I might just 
throw this one out. This one's a pencil version of this pen here, and nothing seems to come out from this anymore. So. What are these? Okay, this one definitely still works. This one is my favorite. Fun. These ones are my main concern. I never really use these. Ooh, this one's a bad one. How about the other side? Oh. This one is trash, it's dried out. No, I'm not gonna bother. This one is also throw out. I love those ones too, so it makes sense that those ones I ran out of, because I use those a lot. I don't know if there's ink in here, but I'm supposed to add ink to it, so I think I'm gonna give this away to a friend. This one is dried out, so I'm going to trash it. Check out this and see what's, in, what's going on here. I use this often, so I'll keep it around. I am going to get rid of this. It's broken, and I don't think I'll ever use this. technically usable but there's definitely some erasers in here that are really tiny i might just throw them out at this point like when am i really gonna reach for these i don't think i ever will those are trash all right this drawer is done I've come to realize that I didn't even test out these markers up here and I actually want to take these out and transfer them well I should say transfer these stickers into this container right here so that I can store it away into a drawer because these I don't really use too much so I can always like store them in my mushroom jar right over here my mushroom rug, mug so I'm gonna test these out see how they are and then we're going to transfer all these in to the bunny container they all work but I'm going to get rid of these I never use any like highlight bright colors and it's not like I do enough traditional work where I think I'll be using this completely so I'm gonna get rid of these everything else She'll go here. It's covering my mushroom guy, but it's all right for now. It's functional. I'll go away. This will be recycled, and then this will be put away to the drawer. The next spot that we are going to tackle is this corner right here. Um, I have a lot of things here that, as much as I love, I really don't use so we're gonna try to declutter this I didn't organize it super nicely though like can you see that I think oh, let me take this out I think this is like organized very very nicely but unfortunately I just don't need these and it's not like I have a lot of friends to play all these with but oh, it's so satisfying I can't get over it like can you guys see that first thing I see already is this right here i've been meaning to get rid of it for a while now i also don't do tarot cards so this will also have to go i really want to play this game because the packaging is super cool no one wants to play this with me so i feel like i'm gonna hold on to it for now and hope that someone will eventually like learn this with me and we can play it together at least once before i part with this i'm gonna get rid of this though 
is another another puzzle game. Again, I don't think I'll ever play this, so this will go. This I got for free for buying some things at a store, and they just gave it to me. Don't think I'll ever use it, so I'll part with this. Honestly, I think that's it. All of these, though, we're parting. All four of these items. I will have a look at this really quickly. I think I can get rid of these, though, because I think I know enough of Pokemon to not need these placement things. That's another poster. I could probably give this one away too, so I will give this one also away. Nice. All right. Decluttered it a little bit, but not too much. It's not like I had a lot to really declutter from it anyways. So this bottom corner is all set. Hey. And welcome to the first drawer of my vanity. Been meaning to get rid of this vanity, but I decided that for now, kind of difficult to get rid of it because it's really heavy. And so I don't really know how to even fathom to think about how to get this downstairs in a car, like give it away to someone else. That's a later problem. For now, I have a lot of junk that I like to just stuff in here. Like you see this, every time I get some packaging that I'm like, ooh, I think I can save it. I open the drawer, I shoot it in there, and I slam it. And that's what this has become. And so I just made a box really quickly. I'm thinking that instead of slamming it all in here, I'm gonna store away in this box because the likelihood of me actually using these it's pretty less likely, but because I do have a shop that sometimes has items that would be nice to have some tissue paper, maybe even some bubble wrap, I can store it away at least in here where it's nice and thin. Like, I don't know if you guys can see how thin that is, so it's not like it's going to take too much storage. The goal is to get rid of everything here and store it all in here. So my camera battery just died, so I did a couple of things off camera. I was able to condense a lot from my box. I mainly just kept all the letters from family and friends, as well as some photos. Um, so just some jewelry, things like that. But for the most part, letters and photos, t-shirt here. I'm going to be getting rid of all of these here to find that I don't have too much of an attachment to all of these items. So I have all of these here, which anytime I get a fortune cookie and it has my lucky number, I like to save them. And I think I still want to keep that tradition, so I'm going to try to find a box to store these in. I have a couple of keychains and I'm conflicted about the keychains because some of these places I have never been to. And so I don't know if I should keep them or save them because people from my family went there and like gave it to me as a souvenir. But again, I don't really have too much of an attachment to it. So.
This box here with the stuffed animal as well as my graduation stuff is definitely going to stay. I have a lot of photos here and this whole pile in addition to in addition to these three items I'm going to put into storage but specifically my parents' storage because these ones are of my family members and things of the past. But these right here Aside from this, this is actually need to recycle because it's empty, but these right here are of myself, so I'm going to put it inside of this box. Thankfully, I had already organized this way in the past. Like, I have a sticky note that says myself and other people in these, so luckily I don't have to go through these because um, I've already done that, so I'm very thankful for my past self. Other than that, let's store this away, figure out if I can actually fit this in here because I might not be able to. I managed to dwindle everything down into this compartment of this entire like section. This area is empty. This top one has always been empty because it's actually really hard to open and close it, so I never put anything in here. Hello everyone! I forgot to make an outro video, so here I am editing this video to give you guys an outro. Um, my space has changed since this video that you're actually watching right now. Uh, I actually recorded this like maybe two months ago, so since then my boyfriend has moved in, so his gaming setup is here. Uh, this thing is now over here, but once we get into like more studio vlogs, you'll see those changes um, in the near future but for now i hope that you guys enjoyed this video that i recorded a while ago hopefully it motivated you guys to also clean your spaces and don't forget to subscribe so that you can watch part three where i clean this room right over here which is my closet as well as my other room which has my other closet so stay tuned um that'll be coming in the next few weeks but for now thank you so much and that's it for me bye